Hello, and thank you for joining us for this segment of Daily Bible Bites here at Mount Olive Multicultural Community Church. Today is March 11th, and we are in chapter 28 of the book of Genesis. So Isaac called for Jacob and said, don't marry one of these Canaanite girls. Instead, marry one of your uncle Laban's daughters. So Isaac sent Jacob to visit his uncle Laban. Esau realized that his father despised the local girls. So Esau went to his uncle Ishmael's family and married Mahalath, the daughter of Ishmael. So Jacob journeyed toward Haran. That night, he found a rock for a headrest and dreamed that a staircase reached from earth to heaven, and he saw the angels of God going up and down upon it. At the top stood the Lord. I am God, he said. The ground you are lying on is yours. You will have descendants as many as dust, and all the nations of the earth will be blessed through you. I will be with you until I have finished giving you all I am promising. Then Jacob woke up. God lives here, he exclaimed. He got up and set his stone head rest upright as a memorial and poured oil over it. He named the place Bethel, house of God. And Jacob vowed, if God will help and protect, I will choose God as my God. And this shall become a place for worship and I will give you back a tenth of everything you give me. Amen. So I just have one verse that I um, that just jumped out at me, just screamed at me um, as I was just reading. And that was verse 15, where he says, I will be with you until I have finished giving you all I am promising. That's the God we serve. He will be right there with us until he has completed what he promised he would do for us. And that's just not us. So when I say that, I mean us individually. Until he's done everything he said he would do for us as individuals, he's going to be there. And when he completes that, we're going to go on to glory with him anyway. But this also talks about our descendants. If we have a word about our descendants, if we have a word about our children, our children's children, their children, God's going to be with them until he has done all that he has promised. I suffice it to say, because I know that there were generations before me that I never met that prayed for me. Hallelujah, because I heard about them. Amen. My grandmother told me about them. I, my great grandmother, who I was blessed to have until I was 17 years old and she was over 100. She told me about people that prayed for us, for our generations. Of course, they didn't know who we were, didn't know us by name, but they prayed for future generations. They prayed for their descendants. Amen. And we are here saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost because somebody prayed for us. So now we in turn need to pray for our future generations, knowing that God will be with them until he has completed all that he has promised. Thank you so much for joining us for this segment of Daily Bible Bites at Mount Olive. We do hope to see you in our small groups, in our church services every week, and in our weekly Bible studies over at www.dltmoreministries.com. God bless you, and we do love you in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.